Around 9.46 a.m. on Sunday, a 7.6 earthquake hit Lei Morabe province, causing damage to various areas. Prime Minister James Marape later that day notified the country of the measures the government was taking in response to the devastation in Lei and other parts of the country. I just want to take this time to inform our country uh, governments uh, through the provincial government network and our district have been advised to try to uh, just find out in all our districts, some remote areas, or in fact most of them, check what is happening on the ground. Our hot ma- hotline number for all districts uh, and our provincial disaster uh, offices to make contact with our central uh, disaster coordinating unit. Here is 1800200, that is the hotline uh, we used for COVID-19. That, is, that still remains our national disaster response sort of uh, a reference uh, number. If there are any uh, indications of uh, <coughs> disasters, landslips, structural failures, uh, uh, people displacement, uh, they need to make contact with us here at the central office. The earthquake was felt strongly in the Makam Valley region, Morobe, and Kainantu in Eastern Highlands province. It was also felt moderately in parts of Sipik, Medang, and Port Mosby. The Prime Minister gave assurance that the government is mobilizing assistance to those affected in these areas. Uh, we have received uh, clearance from our work secretary, uh, one or two areas in our Highlands Highway uh, that uh, has seen some crack. Nazab Airport is relatively okay. Goroka Airport remains relatively okay, uh, except one or two uh, minor slips. But again, I need to qualify myself. The fullest investigations would take place uh, later today, tomorrow, as we dispatch uh, structural engineers, as we dispatch engineers to go and take full assessment. The Prime Minister said by Tuesday, 13th September, full investigations should be completed. No amount of relief money can be announced yet, but government will deploy all help it can. Salome Vincent, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.